In London, there's been another arrest in the investigation into phone hacking at the News of the World. The paper's former managing editor, Stuart Cutler, is the 11th person arrested by police over the scandal. And in another development, the man who threw a pie at News Corporation boss Rupert Murdoch during his parliamentary testimony last month has been jailed for six weeks. ABC correspondent Norman Hermont reports from London. First things first, I deeply... Stuart Cutler was known as the public face of the News of the World. He was its managing editor for 22 years until he resigned in 2009. During the period of phone hacking, he approved contracts, like the $150,000 a year deal with the now disgraced private investigator, Glenn Mulcair. Two years ago, he said he may have unwittingly approved cash payments linked to phone hacking. A relatively small but regrettable number of false cash payments were, were created. Police spent the afternoon searching his home. He's the 11th person arrested in the News of the World investigation. He was once described as the person who came closest to being the DNA of the organization. He appeared in public relatively frequently and critically, as the managing editor, that's where the money goes through. There were also developments stemming from one of the stranger chapters in this saga. The man who famously threw a shaving foam-filled pie at Rupert Murdoch as he testified before a parliamentary committee has been jailed. Jonathan May Bowles received a six-week sentence. It's expected he'll serve three weeks in custody. He pleaded guilty to assault last Friday and couldn't resist poking fun at Mr. Murdoch's parliamentary testimony. I would just like to say that this has been the most humble day of my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a safe bet News Corporation was hoping for at least some loss of momentum in this story. Now, another arrest and word that the journalist leading the charge for the Guardian newspaper is in the U.S. investigating phone hacking there. For News Corporation, there may well be more to come. Norman Hermont, ABC News, London.